Hi, I'm Judith Isherwood and I'm Chief Executive of Arts Centre Melbourne. Australia has a long and proud tradition of performing arts and over the years has produced some outstanding talent that's known both here and overseas. And we're proud that they have an association with us, not just because of their performances on our stages, but also because many of them have donated to our wonderful performing arts collection, which sits at the heart of everything that we do here. Our ambition is to make Arts Centre Melbourne one of the great performing arts centres of the world. And with the opening of Hamer Hall, we're creating one of the great concert halls of the world. We asked many of our artists and, and performers who have an association with us to give messages of support and to talk about why they love Arts Centre Melbourne and Hamer Hall. So please enjoy. G'day. Rolf Harris here. I just want to congratulate you on the opening of the new Hamer Hall Arts Centre there in Melbourne. It's taken about two years, but at last it's thrust the hall right into the 21st century. It's maintained its existing design and its unique characteristics, which is quite a feat. I mean, Hamer Hall has always been a wonderful venue for performers. I know that from personal experience because I entertained there in 1997. And later that week, we went to the Melbourne Arts Centre to view their collection of memorabilia. Fantastic. My brother Bruce had flown over from Sydney to be with me, and it was amazing to see all the stuff they've got there. <laughs> and when I got to the wobble board there, I was, I was, I'd forgotten that I'd sent one over there for them to keep in their exhibit. Still, it's amazing that, that that's going to be there for posterity. Is that how you say it? Po posteriority? Prosperity? Anyway, one of them. But what a good sound. Kangaroo down. Sport. Diamond kangaroo down. Diamond kangaroo. <laughs> oh, oh dear. You know, I've lived in the UK on and off for about 60 years, but I'm still intensely Australian. And I love to promote anything to do with Australia. And when I, when I come back, people haven't changed. They've still got the same attitude to things. They're still relaxed and casual about things, but still intensely Australian and real. And it gives me so much pleasure to, to congratulate you on the opening of this new Hamer Hall Arts Centre. Great venue. Listen, carry on with the uh, celebrations, but don't go mad the minute my back's turned, okay? That's a deal. <laughs> well, I've had the good fortune to play at Hamer Hall quite a few times, and it's always a pleasure. I play there with the band, I play there solo, and it always sounds good. So lots of great memories. One of my favourite memories is of performing there with Archie Roach, the very first time I met him, and hearing his, hearing his song, They Took the Children Away, sailing out into the auditorium and straight into the hearts of the audience. So I wish you all the best for the reopening and I look forward to playing there soon. See you later. Hi everybody, Hugh Jackman uh, with you. Unfortunately I can't be there to help celebrate the opening of the magnificent Hamer Hall at the Arts Centre there in Melbourne. I'm on set of uh, the movie Les Miserables. Uh, my fellow compatriot Russell Crowe. Um, that's why I'm looking 20 years older. Although musical theatre can do that to you, as many of you know. Uh, I first came to Melbourne back in 1995 uh, for a job on a TV series called Corelli. Met an incredible Melbourneian girl who I'm still with today and fell in love with the city. It is now my home and everything they said about Melbourne is true. Uh, it's a city, beautiful city that really feels like a community and really celebrates the arts. And nowhere is that more evident than at the Arts Centre in Melbourne. I've been there many, many times. Uh, performed there a couple of times, and I'm not sure if you know, it also has um, one of the most uh, one of the most amazing performing arts collections uh, in Australia. In fact, as you may have know, I played Peter Allen many times on stage, and a lot of his signature Hawaiian shirts, his papers, and even some maracas are stored there. Not many uh, performing arts collections can say they've got maracas in a box somewhere. Um, but anyway, tonight, Melburnians. It's time for you to take a bow. Uh, you have really developed and nurtured the arts in that city like nowhere else. It is a great, great city. And uh, I want to congratulate you and help celebrate tonight the opening of the Hamer Hall and the magnificent Arts Centre of Melbourne.
congratulations and I look forward to seeing you soon, very soon. Hi everyone, it's Kylie. I wanted to congratulate the Arts Centre on the reopening of Hammer Hall. I know this is a really big deal for you all and um, the Arts Centre has a special place in my heart. Um, I love to come home. I'm a very proud Melbourneian, so I hope that artists from all around the world enjoy performing there and um, cheers to you all. I'm always happy when I'm in Melbourne. I love the city particularly the theatre district at the top of the town and the arts precinct near the river Yarra, which has at its heart Arts Centre Melbourne. Now I've been visiting and performing here for over 50 years now and whenever I appear at Arts Centre Melbourne I count my blessings. It has fabulous venues, the whole place is full of theatricality thanks to the magic of designer John Truscott. Now, we've all missed Hamer Hall very much over the past two years, but the wait has been worthwhile. It's been totally refurbished. Hamer Hall is looking and sounding magnificent. Now, the other thing I love about Melbourne is that it's a theatre town. In my opinion, preeminent in Australia. It's a place that really values its theatrical history. Certainly, my own career has been informed by theatrical traditions and I strongly believe in the importance of understanding and paying tribute to these achievements. Again, Melbourne is lucky. It has the significant performing arts collection which preserves and tells our story through costumes, design, writing, producing, all of those elements that go to making and putting on a show. That's why I decided to donate my archive to the collection. It's been beautifully looked after, along with about 500,000 other treasures that are housed there. So congratulations Arts Centre Melbourne on the reopening of the superb Hamer Hall and thank you on behalf of all performers for telling our stories through Australia's best performing arts collection. Listen, the performing uh, arts collection in Melbourne is an important national resource. It has some very wonderful things in there, including uh, Kylie Minogue's hot pants, which are about as important as the Turin Shroud, I would say. You know, Warren. Sorry. It's Warren Ellis from oh, sorry, um, from the Dirty Three over there. I didn't realise you were doing something. One day they will archive his his uh, stuff too. Anyway, I'm honoured that the collection is the home of my archives and uh, I fully support their quest uh, for the Performing Arts Collection to be recognised as the National Collection. Thank you.